When it comes to theme or the meaning of a work of art, never ever feel that you have to conform to what it's supposed to mean. Let your feelings guide you. Certainly, La Boheme is about love, but I would argue it's actually about passion and out of control passion. Um, actually, that's, that's a very interesting theme, and it's the theme of most, of most Western literature. But I would argue that what Puccini and uh, our other two composers are really about is a much more serious pattern than passion. It is, and they are, in fact, working with this idea. That at a certain point, passion, bless it, it's one of the joys of life, right? Becomes compassion. And the great work of most major works of art, in my opinion, is the process by which a character transforms passion into compassion. That will be the case with two of our heroines in two major works of art, La Boheme and La Traviata. Now, I've said that our two themes in this work were love, let's just use the term love, and poverty. Now, the love is born out of an attraction, which is romantic, sexual, which occurs here when Mimi meets Rodolfo in Rodolfo's uh, room on the seventh floor uh, of an apartment in Rue Bonaparte in Paris on a cold December night, in fact, Christmas Eve of around 1830. Both are poor and they seek each other, they seek out the warmth of each other's presence, uh, like young people do every night of the, of the year, 365 days a year, all over the world. So God bless them. What is the meaning of love? You decide. What I would like to talk about briefly is the way this romance is shaped by poverty. Now, behind this question is, why would an artist like Puccini or like Muguer, who wrote the original piece and who experienced it first person, create a great romantic work in which poverty shapes the characters. Surely there was something more going on there than simply romance. I think these were men not only with big hearts, but with big consciences as well. Rodolfo is an artist. He can function poor. Mimi is a woman, poor in Paris, and the chief character of the piece. The opera is about Mimi. It, in fact, some versions of, of the opera are called Mimi. By the way, this opera was written as part of a contest among all the composers of Europe, primarily in Italy. They were all to take uh, the, the Sans de la Vie de la Boheme, the story of La Boheme, and create an opera out of it. Two good operas were written, and one is Supreme, Puccini's. So, I'm not going to tell you everything about how Mimi's character, her life, is shaped by the environment. But Mimi, as you find out very early on, is ill. She has tuberculosis, uh, or consumption, as it uh, is, is generally called. And she is um, suffering greatly, and she knows at this point in her life, she will not live very long. 
I would like to point out about Mimi, and she is separate from all other characters of La Boheme like this, about in this. She is perhaps the loneliest of all characters in opera. She will sing the word alone uh, dozens of times in the opera, in ensembles. Uh, she is a haunted character. She is haunted by her fear of death. And when she finally comes back in Act Four to rekindle her relationship with Rodolfo, it's very clear that she came back to die in his arms. Not to rekindle the romance, but to be comforted by someone she cares about. So I don't mean to put a downer on the story, but I want you to start looking at the depth of character right from the very beginning, not to nullify anything that's beautiful about it. I'm not doing that, and you won't find that I'm doing that. But Mimi is the heart and soul of this opera, and she should be, uh, she should be appreciated as the major source of theme and, um, as we'll, we'll see, the major source of imagery. <laughs>